Hey everybody, welcome back to Forward Escape the Horde. On the last episode, we finally got the fade to a victory, which honestly took me longer than I expected. This time, we're trying the silence. If you see the reflection of their dagger in the shadows, it means that a second dagger has already hit you. So they start with five things in the inventory. They have the invisibility cloak. Enemies won't attack you if you don't have armor. So actually removing the armor is not the worst thing. Adds one heart card in future levels. Shield of the Dead. Shield cards consume all your skulls and inflict as much damage to invisible enemies. Okay. The boss's loot will always be a healing potion. And Gorgon's Eye. Your field of vision is reduced. Okay. And then our, our power is stabbing. We inflict eight damage to the enemy in front of us. But it costs six mana. Take me on my journey, please. The trees seem inhabited. As you get close, you see that there are actually camouflaged monsters. You're trapped! Arm yourself and face them all. Yep, you're gonna crush me. Okay. Ah, I see how this works when I can't see in front. I wanted to see how it would look different. It just puts like a blind on. So I can only move diagonally again, I think. Let me test. Oh no, yeah, it does because it removes the cards. Okay. Nice early health potion. Thank you very much. So I can't use my ability yet. So I think we'd be a little bit cautious here. I think this character we're just going to have to be a little, 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 little bit careful with. Okay, you're going to fight me if I do this. Why did I do one damage to everyone then? Oh, Shield of the Dead. Uh, knife of the Dead, sorry. If I pick up a shield, it consumed my skulls and then did damage. Okay, maybe I should be being more offensive then. Because that was pretty good. Gold me, gold me. So I will lose three skulls here and then kill this guy if I pick up the shield. Which doesn't really help me now that I think about it. Okay, I have to heal, I think. Thank you for healing. We get a health potion. Golden hammer. When you attack an enemy, you get greed 2 and protection 2. That seems pretty good. Although, protection will then remove my ability to not gain armor, so enemies will start attacking me again. Which is a little bit scary. Uh, that seems bad. Heals you for 3 HP when you start a level. The tomato might be the choice, the winner's choice here. Yeah, let me grab a tomato. The unknown woman, a strange person wearing a colourful mask, comes to you and reveals that you are the one. You laugh nervously and watch in amazement as her hands begin to grow bright, brightly even. The person disappears and you realise that you feel much better. Holy moly, give me a heart please. A devilish presence. Your vision becomes blurred. A demonic presence is close by. You open your eyes wide and see a black shadow. Suddenly it launches itself towards you. Very spooky. Alright. Let's go this way. This is where I'm thankful that I don't have armor. Because you won't fight me now. We have 13 gold pieces. That's honestly not enough for an item. Therefore we'll go this way. And I'm thankful for going that way. I'm one off full. So I think I'm actually going to go here. Here. Then I have to fight someone. I'll fight you. Heal. Do I want to damage everything on the screen right now? I don't really care. But I don't know that yet until I move onto this tile. I'd lose six skulls for the sake of it though. I'm going to say no right now. Okay, it would have been worth. Potentially. Ah, oh, let's do it. Okay, I've now got armor. I'd rather be poisoned, frankly. Mana me. Now I'd rather not be poisoned. I have my ult. But I can't use it, unfortunately, because I've got armor. We get to heal. Death Orb. When you use your power, inflict one damage to all visible enemies for each corrupted item in your inventory. When you use your power, lose all your HP except one gain seven durability. That seems really bad. Heal you by one HP for each visible enemy when starting a level. Give me the inkwell. It's kind of bad because I've got a reduced vision range. 
But I'm beginning to value the survivability a lot more. We've got enough now for the merchant chest. I think that is where I'll head towards. Meat. Nope. Leather. Helmet. Plus one to enemy cards, but minus four to bosses. That's pretty useful, honestly. I'm going to grab it. So enemies are stronger now, but I can kind of dodge a lot of enemies. Do I want a shield? Not really. I'll take two gold coins here. Now we might grab the shield. Did I have no skulls? I guess I had no skulls. Ah, whatever. Some people are going to fight me for a while. That's fine. You're going to fight me. Excellent. Gold me. Let's kill. Mana me. I was kind of worried for that, but shield? Damage. Heal. Heal. I think I'm going to get stuck in the same scenario that I was before, but whatever. Just never using my ult. Heal me. Shell. You receive protection 3 when starting a level, so that's bad. Chest give you 3 gold. Nah. The gold coin cards have a chance of giving you 1 mana point. Lovely. A tavern. Do I want a half at 24? Absolutely I do. The disgusting vial. An elderly woman appears on your way and offers you a drink. You inspect the disgusting vial and decide to refuse it politely. The woman in anger transforms herself into an abominable creature and tells you, Death is the gift I offer you. Right, she's coming to get me. We have to grab a shield here. That's really annoying. I'm going to go this way to just to purge it off again and not take all the damage in the game. Thank you. Heal me. Love me. Man. I feel like I'm playing this not the way it was intended. I'm just like hiding away from all the enemies. Honestly, just poison me again. I don't care. Okay, this bothers me a little bit. I think I'll, I'll attack you. Alright, now we're going to be doing some fighting. No, we're not. We had a load of skulls, I forgot. Okay, you'll... It's better to go this way. I'd rather get the four poison now. Because we'll probably have to heal that off fairly easily. And then I won't get shields. Probably can't afford the merchant chest, sadly. Oh, we can. All healing potion cards remove all your status effects. Positive and negative. That seems really useful. When you lose all your armor points, you gain stealth too. That's not necessary. I've already got that. Increases the chance that the enemies loot is another enemy card. Uh, Crimson Flower Me, please. Mana Me. Heal me, and then we fight you and get eight skulls. Ah, but we don't get a health potion, so it's actually not too bad to end the fight with. Mana. Reduce your power cost by one mana point for each corrupted item. That could be really good. Nope. When you use your power, you inflict two damage to all visible enemies and receive blindness. Reduce the cost of my power, please, for every corrupted thing. What's my power now? You say five. You're being followed. You know that for several hours a giant spider is being discreetly following you. You pretend to stop and encourage it to approach. <laughs> yep, you're going to devour me. Wonderful. So, I, it's discounting me one right now, I think. If I'm reading the numbers right. Alright, let's go this way then. Mana potion me, we have our ult again. Fight. Fight. Okay, that's annoying. Shield, poison myself. Gold me. I forgot I have armor, so we have to fight now. Uh, we're having a small issue here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Totally fine. Totally fine. There are all the health potions I was waiting for. Uh, gold me? Heal me. If I can get another ult up, it'd be fantastic. That's a pity. So actually, it's probably not the worst thing. 
What, what are we doing right now? Eight damage. Do I think it's going to kill this boss, though? Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's try it. One off. What? I only take one damage now. Your power also consumes all your skulls and inflicts as much damage to visible enemies. Sure. Golden Beetle. Add one chest card for each corrupted item in your inventory or stealth cloak. When I attack an enemy, you get stealth. Not necessary. The more chest cards, the less bad things happen, is my theory. Uh, we get to a Blacksmith. Poison Dagger. All poison cards inflict three damage to nearby enemies. Yeah. Sure, if I have to pick up poison, it hurts enemies now. Yep, die. The Beholder wants to kill me. You know, join the queue. Gold me. Gold. Gold. Heal. Chest. Hearts me. 20 health. Very good. Uh, I'll fight you. Now we'll grab some mana. Uh, I'll just accept the shield, honestly. I really don't want protection, but I can't not. Oh, fuck. The protection's going to kind of screw me over here. I'm dead. The protection kills me. Thankfully, it doesn't trigger in the order that it should have done, in my opinion. We're still having a little bit of a sad time. Uh, I'm going to ignore that shield. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Uh, we fight. I don't get the health potion item, but it's fine. If an enemy dies without attacking or being attacked, I gain the skull. Okay, there's a synergy there. Reduces the power cost by one mana point for your corrupted item in your entry. If they stack, they do. That's very good for me. And we're straight to the demon. Holy moly. This character's cracked. <laughs> You're so good. Uh, this heal honestly worth. Poison me. The health potion removes the poison, I forgot. Uh, we'll grab a shield here, because I have to. I mean, I don't have to, but... Uh, let's go here. Start to cleanse off my armor. Very annoying that this has worked out this way, but whatever. The laboratory. That's the next character, right? Uh, use your power. Fuck! No, I'm fine. I get one health doing this. I have to take the seven shield here. I'm the luckiest person that's ever existed. We have no skulls right now. So if I get the shield, you will immediately attack me. So it's not worth it. One more mana cost, man. There it is. Holy shit, I'm going to live. I can't risk it. I have to grab the health potion. Oh, can I? Can I risk it? I mean, what's better than the health potion from it? Heal six. Take two poison. New character unlocked. Azerti. Artificially created from fire and iron. Azerti is a robot that resists almost anything. Okay, now we have the sad times. <laughs> That's pretty big, potentially. No, it hits nothing. Are we now dead? No, if I grab the heart, I live. You can't see me. This character is a god. Please give me a health potion. Enemies won't attack you if you have one HP. That's not necessary. Full health though? Yes, please. I'm still going to be cautious here. Because of this very reason. You forced me to fight someone. And I live. And I get the health potion here. The map tells me how close to the end. No. Poison cards consume all your skulls. I'd never have any anyway. 
And this can give me more schools. Okay. Give me more schools. Hidden passage. A complex system of cogs blocks a door. After several hours, you inadvertently put your hand on a coloured stone, which activates the opening system. Upon entering, you discover a room filled with ancient jewels. And an enemy, apparently. Minus one to enemy cards and plus four to bosses. So this just neutralises the thing I've already grabbed. Which was mm, the leather thing. So let's say no to that. The bone shield. Uh, yeah, sure. This place seems kind of good. Monster tail. More poison? Doesn't bother me. Do it. You just made my power cost two. We will fight, that's fine. Because I now heal. Unknown wizard, you enter the house of where the smell of potions is intoxicating. A sorcerer offers you to taste his potions. <laughs> One's a poisonous mushroom, lovely. Increase the chance of rare and legendary items appearing. I mean, that seems fine, because I've only got one level left. This is fine. More healing is more good. What do you do? No. The will. Your battle with the demon is never-ending. You're exhausted, but the strength of willpower guides your legs. So charge your enemy one last time. Be brave. If you offer me 14 shields, I'm going to take it. Yeah, I'll take a chest as well. I'll take a heart. Kind of pointless, but it's still nice to have more max HP. Right, you're going to cleanse my armor off. That's wonderful news. I will go the way of the chests. Cannot afford Divine Flower, sadly. The gold coin cards have a 20% chance to heal you by one. Thank you. Do I want six shields or full health? I actually want six shields here, strangely. Give me full health, please. Thank you. All right, I do not want to take 11 damage. I will weaken first, then gain your skulls. Then I gain a shield. And then head towards the golden chest. The golden chest! Purse. Purchase price of cards is reduced by five. Probably unnecessary at this point. You heal one HP when you receive a status or ethereal shield. Give me an ethereal shield. Because we our me next damage might legitimately be the boss. Okay, it's not going to be. I presume that took the ethereal shield, right? Uh, <laughs> I think I'll go this way. Ah, no, that did. When I attack an enemy. Okay. I understand. The health potion is what you have to grab. This is fine. Heal me. Heal me. Heal me. Poison me. Mana potion. Smack him. And now you're a chump. New achievement unlocked. I presume it's killing him. Attack the last boss and survive. Wow, that was considerably easier. Spectral sword. Gives minus one to bosses. Holy shit, it's just got an upside. Well, turns out you were very strong. We were so close to dying multiple times as well. It was crazy. Right, this guy has one health, 24 armor, I see. What's your power? Gives you five armor durability and it costs four. And what do you start with? Iron block. The heart cards give you seven armor durability, but do not increase your max HP. Cog. Randomly replace all healing potion and poison cards with protection, gold coins, or broken shield cards. Okay. The value of the shields does not increase with level progression. Ooh. That seems nasty. Okay, well. That, that was four to escape the hold. If you enjoyed this episode, why not leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything helps me out, and I'll see you on the next run. Goodbye.